So uh, two great varieties in this wine, rare varieties from Italy, southern Italy. Stay tuned for this review. So this wine right here is Castello delle Femine, Terre del Principe, Palle Guerrero Nero in Casavecchia. You know, 2012 vintage, you don't see these varieties very often. And also to be aware, back on for your review right here, you're going to see that this is an IGT wine, so Indicazioni Geografica Tipica. So IGT is, uh, you know, it's not held in the same regard as a DOC or DOCG wine. But it has to be this because there's no specific DOC or DOCG that is really going to encompass these two wine grape varieties. So, you know, I take a step back and say IGT is a good thing because without this, you would never have these grape varieties coming to the marketplace. So this particular IGT is known as Terre del Volturno Rosso. So uh, this wine's a 13% ABV wine. I don't know the actual breakdown of the Palo Guerrero Nero to the Casa Vecchia. Could be 50-50 or maybe 75-25. Not really certain of that. Uh, but for me, I think this is a really remarkable wine. And I did a review of this particular producer's uh, Palo Guerrero Bianco. And uh, so I was really intrigued. I tried this uh, Palo Guerrero Nero. It was really intriguing, fun, and exciting. And for me, it's really that point of difference where, uh, you know, I would say with many wines, it can be food or standalone wines. But in this example, I'm going to say right off the bat, and you can drink this alone. So I was, uh, you know, pairing this wine with halibut. It's fantastic. And it really, uh, you know, highlighted the, the halibut, didn't mask it, and it really elevated this wine. So it was really a great combination. And in some ways, I would say this is optimizing that food wine experience. And, uh, you know, don't, uh, you know, you know, you can definitely try it on its, on its own. So you really want to taste the wine. You really want to make sure you're, uh, you know, understanding what this wine is all about. And I think for me, it's really um, very remarkably different. So these two wine grape varieties do express differently than, say, another Italian variety like Alianico or maybe uh, Sangiovese or Nebbiolo. Uh, so this wine, we're going to do first with a point score, which is 93 points out of 100 points. So on this, I'm getting a characterization of red plum pepper, black cherry cinnamon, and uh, red tea. Next, the flavor characterization, and I'll repeat the point score once again. Very acid forward wine here. Notes on this include black plum, game, mushroom, cherry pepper, graphite. That's really the key distinction in this wine right here. So that graphite to me is really begging for food, but drink it alone and it's fine. Uh, but optimize for food and, and this particular wine is really a great uh, experience. And additional note of uh, time as well. Again, 93 points out of 100 points. So for me to enjoy, I think the Italian wine experience is really exciting to taste wine varieties like this. And I keep discovering new wine varieties that I haven't tasted before. So when you're tasting wines like this, Palo Guerrero Nero in Casa Vecchia, I'm not really getting the identifier which you know each individual wine variety is like, but I get this um, you know, conception, this idea. So at one point in the future, I'm going to taste. Palo Guerrero Nero on its own or Casa Vecchia. So I think it's really, a, you know, that sublime experience of, you know, tasting through and enjoying that uh, wine uh, experience and marveling at the many varieties we do have and how they survived. There's a lot of pressure for them to not have survived, but it's also on the growers, it's a region, it's a tradition that keeps them alive. And uh, for you watching this video who probably are interested in wine varieties like this, and uh, keep that support up. Ask your wine merchants, and that's how this uh, wine art stays alive. These wine varieties stay alive and still being uh, planted year over year because you are buying them. So thank you for watching. I appreciate your support. Stay tuned for more videos to come. Uh, I hope to step foot on ground at some point, hopefully in the near future, in this region, and uh, do a report from there. So thank you again for your support. Uh, questions or comments down below, like button's right there as well. You can also list your questions and comments on the many social medias that I'm on, such as Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Pinterest, LinkedIn, as well as Instagram and WordPress. Stay tuned for more. Salud.